Hello, it's Melissa here. Happy New Year. Hope you've had a great start to 2016. I'm back today with another layout for Brielle's monthly baby album. And as you can see there, I'm scrapping this page on the back of another page that I've made. And the reason I'm doing that is because I loved both sides of the paper and I only had one sheet in the collection pack of each. And so this is a sketch and it's the... I think it's the latest sketch over at Stuck Sketches. It's either the latest one or the first one of the month for December. So anyway, the sketches have closed for December now anyway. So this is a photo of Brielle at 10 months. And if you watched the video that I posted a couple of days ago, you'll know that I've had a bit of time to myself and I'm making a real effort to scrap and finish her baby album. And... If you head on over to my blog, and I'll put a link below, you'll see about five or six pages that I've made in the past few days. So as of today, being the 1st of January, the only page that I have left to make now is the cover page for this album, and otherwise it's all done. So I'm really happy that I've made huge progress, because I'm very good at starting projects and then um, either leaving them half finished or just taking forever. To finish them so the good thing is that she's going to be two in April and I'm really happy to have this this done and it will be by then because I'm planning to do her cover page probably tomorrow so I love this sketch and I love this paper because it has illustration on it already I know some people find this hard to work with I know I think I've said this before um, but I I love it when a paper has elements on it already. It makes it easy for me to decide where to put my design and I love to somehow incorporate the design into my page. So here I'm just building up my layers and the sketch showed a few layers going horizontal and I don't think I've stuck to it 100%. I'm just going through the papers. I don't have much left at this point. I don't think I have any full sheets of paper and it's mostly just scraps. So that piece that I'm just ripping there is the Speciality Vellum. It's got lots of lovely um, quotes and it's just really beautiful. And so I'm wanting to put my adhesive behind where my photo will go so you can't see it. Now that background paper has got a kind of a creamy white and pale pink pattern on it. It's small and repeating and it looks really good with with this page and it's a nice change from just having a white background. So this paper here is not from the collection. The collection that I'm predominantly using is the Sweet Routine collection from Webster's Pages and as I said in my last video it's not a baby collection but it has a lot of elements and sayings that are suitable for a baby layout or in my case a baby album. So the paper that I just cut with all the little onesies on it, it is from the Webster's Pages Baby Collection, and once again I can't remember what it's called, but it is so super cute, and I picked a few pieces to go with this um, sweet routine, just ones I thought would, would go well, and that included the acetate that I made my tag from, which also has lots of onesies on it. So now I'm just deciding whether I want to use this little file folder or not, and in the end I won't use it, but I tried it anyway. And I tried a gold doily, I've cut that out of my video, and it was just too much, it was too intense for the softness of pattern on this paper. So I've just gone with a slightly off-white doily, and they're the doilies that I had in my stash that a friend gave me. She bought a huge stack of them, and she gave me, must have been about 100, so... I'll be using them for a long, long time. And they're great. I've used them on a lot of different layouts. So I punched a butterfly out of that blue floral, and I'm just stapling it to the acetate tag, and I like the way that it looks, and it'll just slightly overlap the photo, and almost looks like she's got a butterfly in her hair. So now I'm at the point of adhering my photo, and just making sure it's in the right position there with the doily and the butterfly. I just love this photo so much. It's just so cute. And 
It's amazing looking back, seeing how much that she's changed. So I punched three hearts there just from a piece of scrap, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them, so I'll come back to them later. And now I'm working on the triangular piece that is shown on the sketch, and I'm staying pretty true to the sketch for this one. Don't always do that, but when I love the sketch and when it's working with my design or for what I have in mind, I go with it. So here I'm just adhering that corner piece, and I'm the thing is, normally I would sew this corner piece on, but when I'm making this layout, I have to be really aware that as you can see there, there is a fully complete page on the other side. So I'm just adhering it and trimming it out, and I'm happy with how that looks. And now I've just got one of the sticker sheets and I've pulled off a little square sticker that says so much fun. The detail in this collection is really, really beautiful. That little sticker has a floral pattern, which is another one of the patterns of paper. And then it just has so much fun written in the middle. And it's really little and I just, once again, I just love the detail. So now I'm wanting to punch a couple more butterflies and... Although I don't always stick to the kind of design rule of three, when I punch a shape, I do like to have three, and so I've punched my three butterflies. And now I'm going through the chipboard sheet, which I have been using a lot of, and really happy about that. And I've just pulled off this little, um, I guess it looks like a clover, and it's in a kind of a tiled or wood grain kind of pattern. And I'm just adhering a butterfly next to it. Now... This butterfly won't stay here, it'll be moved, and I don't think I show you in the end because unfortunately my um, battery on my camera runs out, but you won't miss too much. So now I'm just pulling some more chipboard and trying to make it work. That little flower didn't look quite right, and that little, little piece of chipboard says and on it. There's a lot of ampersands and ands on the chipboard which is interesting. So I'm loving the colour of it and I'm loving how it's looking with the butterfly, so I've just adhered it down. And now I am wanting to add the other butterflies and so I'm just adhering that one down as well. And I like the look of them kind of flying off the page. And as always, I'm adding a little pop dot behind the wings just to give them some dimension. I think it's very rarely that I would use these punched out butterflies without lifting their wings up. So now I am wanting to work on my title which is really simple, it's just 10 months. For every page that the title is just literally the number of months that she is and I like that continuity in the album and I like the simplicity of it as well because the whole point of this album is to do a page each month and I've done this with all three of my children now and I love looking back and seeing the changes and because we have a boy and two girls I love looking at Azaria's album and seeing if she looks like Brielle at the same age because we get told all the time how alike our girls are, almost how they look the same and I don't always see it so it is interesting. So I've noticed that these Thickers have got a few other elements on them as well, and I've added the little plus signs just as an embellishment, and also one of the ampersands. And they're, I think they're Amy Tangerine thickers. They're gold, not gold, they are pink foam glitter, and foam thickers have to be my all time favourite leather stickers because there's never any issue with them sticking. So I've added a B at the top there on the little clothesline, and I've just made it look like it is adhered, or not adhered, attached to the clothesline, and it's just Brielle, a B for Brielle, her initial. And then I've tied that little piece of twine into a bow, and my little trick there is to put a little glue dot behind the knot of the bow, and that way it stays that way forever. So now I'm adding my gold colour shine, and I find that, I don't know what it is about this bottle of colour shine, but if I drop the first one off not onto the page, so just onto what I've covered my photo with, I don't get really huge splatters at the end. So now I'm outlining these tiny little hearts, because otherwise they're just going to get lost on the page. And 
at this point I still don't really know what I'm doing with them and um, I'm not being too perfect with how I'm outlining and then I punched some larger ones and I'm also outlining them and I'm not going to show you the entire process of this and what I'm planning to do at this stage I realize is just to make some layered heart embellishments and all I do is just place the two hearts next to each other and the central line of the smallest heart I've lined up with the edge of the heart and I just adhere them with a staple and then I put a Stampin' Up! Dimensional or any kind of pop dot would do it just behind them and that just gives some dimension and the outlining just helps them stand out and I really like them I'm no doubt I'll make these again and add them to another page because they're really cute. So it's nearly coming to the end. All you're going to miss is me moving that butterfly at the top and adding a larger heart which I've outlined and I put a little heart sticker in the middle of that um, clover shape as well and I add my journaling and you can see it all there. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you had an awesome new year and I'm really excited about what 2016 is going to bring. So stay tuned for more videos and I will see you soon. Bye.